almost brand new Trek Fuel EX8. This is a 2018 model. Uh, it's aluminum, aluminum frame. Trek has three levels of aluminum. Um, this is the platinum level, which is the highest level. It's a really good lightweight um, and very uh, stiff, nice aluminum frame. I wouldn't mind, honestly, I have the slash carbon fiber. I wouldn't mind having this frame at all. And it's really similar, I mean, to the slash. The geometry is different, but pretty much the same drivetrain. It has the Eagle GX, gives you that extra low gear. Uh, descendant cranks, which come with all the Eagle GX uh, drivetrains. It's got a Fox reactive shock, the Fox float on the rear. Really good shock. We both like our uh, reactive shocks. Um, I really enjoy mine. Rhythm 34 forks. The forks are a little bit lighter in the front than the than the slash. Um, it's got the uh, SRAM guide brakes. I don't have a single problem with those brakes. I've run them for what over a year now, and you know my whole outfit's well over 250 pounds, so they stop me just fine. Comes with the uh, Bontrager dropper, and you know it works. I'm not super impressed with mine. I think Fox might make a better dropper. This one's nice and tight still. Mine's got a lot of play. You can tell when you're climbing. That bugs me. Uh, but it gets the job done. Uh, this one has the Bontrager Line 30 wheels. Comes with the XR4 Team Issue tires. Not a bad tire. I don't think they're as good as, uh, as some, but they're not the worst. Um, oddly, this bike does not come... This bike comes with tubes, which I think is kind of dumb, but we immediately pulled those out and went tubeless. Um, so, you know, just do that right off the bat. Um, doesn't, obviously doesn't come with pedals, so we threw some nice uh, race face chesters on there. It's a great composite pedal, real lightweight, nice and tacky, got the little studs on it. Works great. That's pretty much the nuts and bolts. Doesn't have a carbon uh, handlebar. I think the Bontrager carbon handlebar on my slash is a really nice handlebar. Uh, that would be a great upgrade that wouldn't be too too awful much. Um, other than that, if you go tubeless, this is a really capable bike. Um, that's really all you need to do off the shelf, I think, is tubes and maybe if you wanted to, get a little nicer handlebar. But, uh, this is about, I think this is about the most, the EX8 is about the most expensive trim in the fuel before you hit the carbon uh, frames. So this is a pretty nice bike for a 16 year old dude. And luckily for him, he already had a car to start out driving. We have a third vehicle for him to beat around in. So for his 16th birthday, we surprised him with this. What did you think about it? It's awesome. Huh? Bike. How was the surprise? It was great. I would highly recommend this bike for, if you're going to get a Trek, this is the one I would recommend. Yeah. It's pretty good. It's got, you know, everything's great. It rides great. And how's, how's it as an upgrade from your hardtail? It's awesome, awesome. It's a huge Tre upgrade. Tremendous difference, I, I right? I wasn't expecting anything like this at all. Yeah. And, you know, some of you might wonder, why do you guys buy so many Treks? And I'm just going to be honest with you. There's a Trek shop like two miles down the street, so <laughs> it's easy to get to if we need repairs, maintenance, whatever. Uh, you know, they're good bikes. They're good overall bikes. It was a, a Trek was my first mountain bike, and so I've just stuck with them. It's not that I don't like other ones. It's just that I'm not rich enough to own three different ones because I have to buy four bikes for every, you know, we have to buy four bikes for everybody. So, you know, we have to pick one thing and stick with it, and that's just what I've done. Of course, Mom deviated with the yeti and i love that bike too but that shop is way over on the other side of town so anyway that's why we do that but we're gonna get some footage of this uh, guy on his trek fuel ex8 full suspension trail bike and see what he can do on it in some of our upcoming episodes all right but as for now on this dreary western north carolina day we're heading out to dupont we're gonna ride a little ridge line right Right. All right, let's get to popping. We'll see you on the next episode.